You know, today, many political leaders are more interested in sound bites than getting something done. I want you to know that when it comes to Washington State, I'll work with whoever I can to get results. Right now, I'm working with Republicans and Democrats on getting the first ever federal tax incentive for apprentice so we can skill and train more workers for today's jobs. I helped push through a new GI Bill to expand the benefits for our veterans to get education at a longer period of time when it fits into their lives. I fought when the Air Force gave the tanker contract to the wrong company. I made sure that Boeing ultimately built those planes and built it here in Washington State. And I supported and fought to get the reauthorization of the Export-Import Bank so our small businesses could have new markets overseas for their great products. I will stand up to my party when necessary, as I did in voting against the bailout of Wall Street. And I will stand up to this president when he was wrong about cutting wildfire funding, and instead we restored $2 billion to make sure we're cost-effective in protecting our communities. The last thing we need right now in Washington is a rubber stamp of the Trump agenda. I'm going to fight for our economy for everyone, improving access to health care, protecting our public lands, and changing our environment to be a cleaner energy economy. That's what I'm going to fight for. I'm going to continue to get results for Washington because that's what matters. Thank you. I'm Susan Hutchison, and I want to win this race for you because we are in desperate need of change in Washington, D.C. and Washington State. We're enjoying a thriving economy, the likes of which we haven't seen in years. But my opponent, Senator Cantwell, worked furiously against the Tax Cuts and Jobs Bill that's helping us with this tremendous prosperity. She's just out of touch with working men and women. Everywhere I go across the state, people say to me, Susan, where is Maria? She's been in office for 18 years and we never see her. Well, that's because she's become a professional career politician beholden to the D.C. swamp. In fact, we had trouble getting her here for this debate. Even Democrats come up to me and say, Susan, I'm voting for you because I can't take it anymore. Things have gotten so crazy. Well, as a longtime resident of Seattle, I understand how they feel. You know, I'm a military wife, mother, and daughter, and as such, I care so deeply for the people of this country that they stay safe, and also for our military men and women in uniform. One of them is my son, Brian, a U.S. Marine Corps lieutenant. My other son, John, is also in the audience. He's in a different profession, but both boys say they want to come home to Washington State for their future. So I'm fighting for their future, but I'm fighting for your future, too, and your kids' and your grandkids' future. You know, uh... Some of you remember me from the old days of the news, and I want you to know you trusted me then, and you can trust me now as your next U.S. Senator. I will be your voice. I will fight for you, and we can win this together. Nice to see a civil debate. Um, gave a good chance for the, um, uh, each of the uh, debaters to express their views and their solutions where they have them. Uh, we came. I thought uh, Susan Hutchinson carried Trump's water pretty well, and I thought Maria Cantwell did us proud. Yeah, I was very impressed. I thought both candidates, uh, you know, were very forward and well-spoken. However, I thought Susan really stole it. I think she spoke from her heart. She had a lot to say about uh, the issues, and I thought she spoke very well for the Republican Party.